Ladies, my name is Brett, and I am the owner of Work Out Anytime for Sales, and this is 10 Questions with Me. Number one piece of advice for women that need to lose weight is don't get online and Google a bunch of stuff because there is so much information out there that is hit or miss. The biggest thing is, is just keep it simple. Walk, come in here, and portion control. Their metabolism starts slowing down just a bit. I mean, it's just one of those things with life. Males don't have that problem sometimes, sometimes they do. Depending if you're watching an NFL football game on a Sunday and you're sitting around drinking beer and eating chicken wings, then absolutely you're gonna have somebody that's 80 pounds overweight. Women, however, you all are weight-bearing ch children and therefore your metabolism, hormones, kind of does crazy stuff as you age over the age of 35. It's gonna slow down a little bit more. It's one of those things that just happens in life. You can try to speed it up a little bit, but the best thing to do is just keep exercising. It's absolutely a myth. The biggest thing is a lot of women stay away from free weights, especially big free weights. The reason behind that is, is all of them think they're going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger or something of that nature. That is absolutely wrong. The science behind it, you all have estrogen, 80% estrogen, almost 20% testosterone. Males have the opposite. The estrogen is not going to tone you up as it would for a male. Just remember, it's absolutely okay to lift those heavy weights sometimes if your body can withstand it. If it can't, then obviously don't because you're going to set yourself up for pre-arthritis and things like that. But you're not going to get toned as what, as what a male would look like on the beach or something like that. If I had to pick one, I would say exercise. Everything that you put in your body can be basically put out at some point. The biggest rule of thumb is put out what you're going to put in. You can have your cheat days, you can have you know a big meal, all of a sudden Thanksgiving's coming up, but the moment you stop exercising is the moment your body starts storing all of that and it goes nowhere. The rule of thumb is usually three to four times. A lot of women think they have to come in here for two hours a day and they have to get it you know, done. And that's where the biggest thing about exercising is, is there is absolutely no time. 30 to 45 minutes is what needs to be. And you can half that into free weights and you can half the other one into cardio. Probably processed foods. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I have my cheat days with processed foods. So try to stay away from them. I am no 100% nutritionist, I am a realist. It's like, yes, I can sit there and tell you what is good for you, what is not good for you. Portion control is the best. Try to stay away if you are eating your processed foods. Is it because of your job? Is it because of, you know, you've got kids, you can't really keep up with this and this? Try to portion control it first. Don't quit cold turkey. Just literally half this, half that. Go from Coca-Cola to Diet Coke if you can. Probably anything carbonated. That's what they're going to tell you for sure. It's just going to make your body feel sluggish. It's going to give you no energy whatsoever, especially with the sugars and processed foods, trans fats, things like that. I would say anything that has Coca-Cola on it, uh, believe it or not, it's actually worse than beer. I would have to say cardio. Cardio, heart healthy, looking at everything. Now with the cardio, you don't have to do intense cardio, especially women over 40. A lot of people think they have to come in here, they're going to run a 5K. A lot of it is just simply walking, keeping your heart rate right around 140, not getting to your target heart rate, which is usually around 160 or 170, because then you're just going to burn yourself out. You will feel better if you just walk one or two miles without weight training. Yes and no. A lot of nuts and it depends on what it is. Almonds, peanuts, things like that. They're good in the proteins, they're good in the good fats, but if you overindulge in them, your body will start storing them and process them, assess them as sugar. Again, I would try to keep it between 30 to 45 minutes, three to four times a week. You have to have at least one or two off days. If you don't, as women start aging, you'll start going into pre-osteoporosis and pre-menopause. That is what happens. Again, it's with the hormones, and I'm sorry, ladies, that's, that's just the way it is. Males don't have that problem unless they're extremely overweight. Just keep it simple. Three to four times a week, 30 to 45 minutes. If you guys need help, come and look at me. If you are a member at the gym, I'll be more than happy to help you out. 
Thank you very much. This is 10 Questions with Brett, and I will see you next time.